So it was at that point in that meeting that uh, that declaration was known to Nigerians. And as you may have seen with the dailies, which we went through today, that announcement overshadowed whatever all those decisions, the ratifications, the waivers, the agreements, the conclusions that they came to uh, at that APC NEC meeting. So uh, that's the big one. So today we've got a lineup of guests who will weigh in on this matter. We do have uh, Femi Adeshino, he will be there. We also do have uh, Digi Adenyoju. We've got the National Publicity Secretary of SDP, uh, Mr. Yemi, will also be here. And then we also have the National Youth Leader of NIM. He will also join us. So they all will weigh in on this matter this morning. So, uh, Mr. Adeshino, incidentally, he's not in Abuja this time. He joins us via Skype in London. So let's get his reaction. Uh, good morning, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Good morning. You know, while we were going through the dailies, I was just trying to picture you in the newsroom, trying to catch <laughs> your headline, uh, especially after that announcement. So, yes, the papers are awash with this one, and I imagine some arguments may have gone down in the newsroom as well. But, you know, after this declaration of the president where he says that uh, he was relying on comments, okay, let me even ask you, what was, many will always say they had always seen this was going to happen. It was a matter of time. So why did they have to wait at that particular forum for us to know that he's going to recontest? If anybody it was going to happen, it's just a matter of surmising or conjecture. Because those of us who work with the president, who sit with him daily, uh, didn't have that feeling. We didn't at all. In fact, nobody could say for sure that Mr. President was going to take a second shot at all. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody. But I know that you're also aware of the barrage of criticisms uh, trailing the president's or the president's or this government, uh, let me put it at that, even before his declaration, and I know you expect a lot more after this declaration. What would you say to those who say, wait a minute, is the president still going to contest in spite of the fact that many are complaining about one, the economy, two, about security, and all of those kind of challenges? Well, I, I'll just uh, say those people have rights to their opinion. You don't have a country of 180 million people and you expect all of them to see everything the same way. It's not possible. God did not even create all human beings to see the same thing from the same perspective. So those people will ra have a right to their opinion and will just accommodate them. Okay, no what problem. we'll do is um, we'll let you even listen to some of them. Let's hear directly from them what their issue or challenge or how they are reacting to this announcement, the big announcement by the president. And we'll always have you back on in just a moment. So let's see what Abuja has got. Mark Well, thank you, Chamberlain. I have with me in the studio, should I say, we have with us in the studio, because uh, myself and uh, Ajiri are here, uh, we have Emmanuel beg your pardon we have digi adding drew with us here who is uh, a member of a concerned nigerian group group and uh, we also have with us um, mr yemi akim body who is the national publicity secretary of the social democratic party gentlemen you're welcome to sunrise daily thank you for having us on the show. you have heard the initial reaction of mr femi Adishino. he said that the people around the president did not have an inkling that the president was going to run uh, again did that also come as a surprise right. to you? Let me start with you, DJ. Well, it's a surprise, and it's a very bad news for the country because, you see, the immediate thing that happened, Nigerian stocks have dropped to three months low, and it's beginning to it's going to affect everything, the economy, everything, you know, because the president has failed at, 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 at almost everything, you know, and I know some people who are at the dining table, who, who are still observing table manners, we disagree with us that, the president has not failed. This was the same situation during Jonathan. People who benefit from government will always say, like what Femi Adeshina is saying, that, oh, the president even said Nigerians were the ones that were clamoring for him to run. And I begin to wonder, is it the headsmen going around the country killing people that were cl uh, that clamoring for the president? Or the Boko Haram we saw in Dapchi, they were being celebrated. That, that is your initial reaction. Let me take that of Mr. Kim Bote. Well, I, it didn't come as a surprise to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a politician. Of course, we have seen indications that the president was going to run 
long time ago. Uh, we have to be truthful and uh, we have to be sincere with ourselves. Uh, the president came in 2014 and said he was going to run for 110. He granted an interview to the trust, Sunday Trust, and he said he was going to run for 110 because of his age. Now, we believe that being truthful is to throw the part of honor. And if we have a president that is not being truthful, then there's trouble. There's problem in this country. Do you have the actual date of the interview? Well, I don't know, but I think he, I know he granted an interview to Sunday Trust in 2014. And he was going to run for one term. And that because of his age. And this is not when he was with the CPC? This no, I was talking just about the, 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 the build-up to the 2015 general elections. We, there are facts that are available to the public. We have extrapolated those facts, and we are going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. The president was born on the 17th of December in 1942. That is the available data. That shows the president is 75 years today. I mean, this year, 75 years. By December 17, it will be 76. The president became the governor of Northeastern region, right? In 1975, when he was 33 years. So you think that he should, just a moment, sorry to interrupt your thoughts. Right. You are saying that he should not be seeking re-election because of his age. Absolutely. Okay, now if you say, um, you said that this has not come as a surprise to you. It has not come as a surprise. Why has it not come as a surprise to because you? Because I have seen a lot of deceit in the communications of people around him. They knew it was going to run. What were the signs you saw? They are a politician. They knew it was going to run. You can't the, give us specifics? Well, you see, there are, the, the people around him have been talking around the country. So that they are not, he's not going to contest, that he didn't know, it is not true. That's what I can say. Mm.